Hello guys, welcome back to another video with me, Alex, and in this video I'm going to be teaching people or teaching you guys how to <clears throat> create a Shopify store um, with an import uh, affiliate products from Amazon into that store and make a profit from this. I'm also going to show you how to drive free traffic using Google and other methods as well, free traffic methods by advertising your e-commerce store and driving traffic to um, the store, which then in turn they lead, lead them to Amazon. Now it's free to create an Amazon Associates um, uh, account. <clears throat> it's also free to join Prime for um, the first couple of weeks. Um, so if you wanted to do that, you can obviously essentially do that as well. I don't have the uh, Prime package anymore. I just do the Amazon Associates and obviously have a Shopify store. Now, let's say for instance, I want to import a product. Now, all you would do is you would type the product in here say for instance let's say uh, gym equipment uh, gym accessories for men that will do anything like that and then it will bring you through to um, all the different accessories and all you would simply do is you would find a product that you want or you like the look of or you like the price i always go for top rated products as well ones with stars next to them or best sellers um, try and go for four or above, but you know, essentially, it is really up to you what you put into your store. Now, this has caught my eye. Um, it's just a workout log. Um, I think you know it's good for people trying to get into fitness. So, what you would do is you would just select on on the product, and it would take you to this page here, and it gives you all the rundown of the product. Now, I would advise you to read through it all, um, check it, and everything, but I won't do that now because obviously uh, for the purpose of the video I want to keep it as brief as possible so you just come up to the URL at the top of the page you copy and paste it now when you create a Shopify store um, it, it is a paid plan um, it will cost you um, a pound for the first three months um, and once you create your account it will look something like this on the front now you have all these selections down the side here uh, you've got your home your orders your customers content analytics marketing and discounts then you've got sales channels you got obviously your button your uh, Facebook Instagram TikTok Pinterest Google and online store which is where you would customize your store then you also have apps now this is the part we're going to look at here so once you've gone through and you've adjusted everything and you've set your store up exactly how you want you have set up your sales channel you can change these at any time now i tend to use google because with google you get a free sales channel through google merchant um, and you can also get a business profile where you can essentially send traffic to the profile which will have the, uh, this website attached to it and send them to your store um, so that's something we're going to look at later on in the video but at the moment what we want to come over to is just our apps now Obviously, my store's been running for a little while now, for a couple of weeks. Um, I'm still obviously building it up. Um, so all these apps, I have gone through and, and added them. Um, and the one we're going to be looking at today is this one, right at the very top, the Spreader app. Now, this is a very important app. It's a paid app as well, so it costs you £4 a month um, with a standard charge of a pound from Shopify to have the app installed, so £5 a month plus your initial uh, pound a month for the first three months, then I think it's £19 a month uh, to have your store running. Um, so it's still very affordable. So what I'm going to show you is that you just click on it and it will load. I've already loaded it up, so I'm just going to go over to it. Now, we did copy and paste this before. Now, once you set up your account, this is what your dashboard will look like. You'll have all your... Uh, imported affiliate products um, or the most recent ones all listed on the front of your dashboard and at the top here you just simply copy and paste that url into that that um, search bar and then just hit add product that will do its thing now Spreader is also a drop shipping app as well as an affiliate app. So sometimes in some cases you will need to come over to your products. Check your inventory. Um, just make sure that the, the product was imported correctly. And there is uh, something you need to do, which is you need to check to see if the 
spreader hidden tag has been removed in some cases i mean i was uh literally on a video call with um uh, their support team that were based in India and they were actually very, very helpful. Um, and my situation was resolved. Um, just looking for the product guys. Sorry guys, I'm going back and forth. Can't find the product we just imported. Oh, where are you? Where are you hiding? Ah, right at the bottom there it is so it's imported three it does that as standard um, when you come over you're going to want to select the product and a lot of this might actually be off so and it's the description for the product so a customer that comes onto the store will will read this so just make sure that um, it's all written correctly uh, if there's any spelling errors just correct them um also as well at the bottom of the page you want to just double check that the spreader hidden um hidden tag is not there if it is there you would just hit the x button on the tag and then the save and then it would be removed and then in your store it will say view in amazon or view on amazon not um add to cart also all this information here like the ean number um your uh, price your SKU number, barcode number and stuff like that is all very um, important information that you need because when you come over to this sales channel here, when you come to advertise product, you'll go over to Google Merchants, which is free by the way, um, you just add the product and make sure you um, have all the settings done correctly. Um, as you can see, I've already imported 10 products and all that information uh, in the description that you just saw there, you would copy and paste all of that and add it onto Google Merchant. You would also do the same thing with your business profile, which is this, which is also free to create. So it would be this. Now, I'm not going to go into detail and start filling all this out and boring the hell out of you guys because it's very long-winded. It, it does take time and effort. It is work. I mean, this is an affiliate business. So, you know, if you want to get paid commissions for selling other people's products um, and you want to sell physical products as well as services, this is the way to do it. So you'd set up your business profile. As you can see, I've already had one good review. Um <clears throat> And that was basically for my customer service on my store. Um, you can also add products. So as you as you would um, do the same thing, adding importing the product, you would just simply copy and paste um, this. And this is the same the same similar layout to um, the Google Merchant. So you would add this a little bit more straightforward with the Google Business Profile. You just add the product simply just click add new product um, and then just put in a few details from that shopify um, description um, and just add them there and then hit save so as you can see very straightforward to do that and it's the same process with the google merchant so you but you do that through your shopify store you simply just go to google merchant like that you click the button it'll open up a new tab take you over and if you haven't got a profile with these um with google merchant just set one up it's completely free add all your business information on there um and just yeah just set it up um legitimately uh, so everything's that you follow all guidelines um and it's the same process you just add add new products so you go to all products and this will actually keep an eye on how sales do um online so if customers are, are buying the product uh, this way so they purchase through google um there are, there is analytics that i do have in place through my store and obviously google merchant and my business profile so as you can see all these products are active um they're all in the uk this is an amazon uk affiliates profile so make sure that when you're advertising this way you're not advertising to other um, countries do it to just one single region region which will be the uk if you're in the uk um, or if you're in another part of the world you would set it to to that um, that region so there there you go guys it's very very straightforward now there is a lot more stuff i could go into detail with this um i would suggest if you open up a store you just play around with it and set everything up to your um 
how you would want it. Um, but there is a settings page where you can go through everything. You can set up your billing, your payments, your domain, your markets. Um, you can do everything. And there's so much on here. Um, if you do need any help or assistance, you can reach out to the um, Shopify team. Um, and there is a community forms and help. Um, you, you can hire experts to help you. Um, and you can also go to the help center. Um, I highly recommend doing this. This is a good way to make a passive income in 2023. So if you do like this type of content, guys, hit that like, hit that subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And I hope this one helped.